Welcome to the Incline Plane Lab. More evidence of what I've been doing all summer to get ready for this year. You have to build this cart. Please be careful with the cart. I made this block of wood, the eyelet, and all the trim around it myself. So be careful with it. I sanded it for you. What you're going to find in your kit is not only this block, but you're going to find these wheels, straws, and rubber bands. You have to assemble the wheels on the straw. Now these things just come right off. There's the stick. The wheels fit on there very easily and they're probably going to fall off, but that's okay. They only have to stay on there when they're on the plane. They're not going to go anywhere. Notice how the rubber band goes around the bottom here and bottom here and over the top here. I'm putting a tuna fish can in here because this doesn't weigh that much. I'm gonna hold it in place with another rubber band that I gave you. These boards, I cut myself, careful with them, don't mark them. I have the spring scale held in place on this piece of wood in the groove. And now this whole assembly is going to be attached to the incline plane using the clamp. We're going to put the spring scale on the eye hook. Do not mess with this eye hook, okay? Now, why is this spring scale rubber banded to this block of wood? so that the spring scale pulls at the same height as the block of wood is from the ramp. Your goal in this lab is to measure this spring scale reading at different angles. We can change the angle greatly. You're gonna go from zero degrees all the way up to 90. You're going to read the spring scale at about 10 degree increments, and you're going to make a graph. And so this is the incline plane lab. So here's a diagram of the apparatus. You need to measure the angle from the horizontal up to the board. Don't measure to the top of the ramp, measure to the bottom of the ramp because that's where the pivot point is, at the bottom. Make sure that you put a rubber band around the tuna fish can or whatever weight you're putting in your cart, and a rubber band around the spring scale around the little block of wood. You don't need to put that clamp on real tight, just snug will do. You're going to read the force of the spring scale at different angles. Then you can make a graph of that force of the spring scale versus this angle. You're gonna go from zero degrees to 90 degrees, and you're gonna do this on graph paper you're gonna to wanna to take angle measurements about every 10 degrees. It doesn't really matter if it's exactly 10 degrees. It could be a few above, a few below. And then you just keep on cranking this up, reading that off and making the graph. And these values will be experimental because you're reading them right off the spring scale. When you're done with this lab, your challenge will be to come up with a way of calculating the force of that spring scale theoretically. Then we'll make a graph of the theoretical values on the same graph. Good luck, everybody.